Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you the top 7 things to do while waiting for update 17 part 3. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. Also, I've recently made a new website, so if you'd like to check that out, it's the top link in the description below. Let's get straight into it. The first thing to do is to get max level. As you can see, I'm level 2300, which is max level. So I get as many skill points as I can, or stat points here, so I can do more damage, have more health, etc, etc. And so that I don't have to grind as much when the new update comes out for the new max level. The next thing to do is to get really rare swords. The, some of these really rare swords include the three legendary swords from the legendary sword dealer, which are Sadi, Shisui, and Wando, combining them to make the true triple katana, getting the dark dagger, this one, from Rip Indra Boss, and also getting Dark Blade by trading for it if you don't want to spend the Robux on it. These swords are really good pretty hard to get and just most of them are amazing anyway. My favorite ones out of them are Dark Blade, Dark Dagger, Shisui and the True Triple Katana. The next thing to do is to get lots of money and fragments. Stock up on money and fragments so you can get fruits from these two dealers right here, the cousin and the dealer, and get the fragments so you can awaken fruits and save up for the awakening if of dough in the next update which we all know is going to happen so if you don't already have like 20 or 30 thousand fragments uh, try and get that and a couple million money as well just in case speaking about fragments if you haven't already you should awaken all of the fruits and yes, that includes Phoenix. Phoenix does have a level requirement, and it's very hard to get. I haven't gotten it because I honestly cannot be bothered to, but that is one thing to do if you are bored and don't know what to do. The next thing to do is to get mastery for your dough fruit. I've got dough right here. Yep, there's my dough fruit. My mastery for doughs roughly three to four hundred. I think you should get at least four hundred mastery if you want to get Doe Awakening in the new update. Since it will be as hard or harder to get than Phoenix, I think you should probably start doing that now if you haven't already. The next thing you can do is to unlock as many titles as you can. Some titles that I think you should try and get are the ones that you get for having a certain amount of bounty or honor. As you can see, I've got 16.5 million bounty. So I have the Bounty Hunter, Pirate Hunter, Warlord of the Sea. I think you get another one when you reach either 20 or 25 million. There are also some titles you get for killing very popular YouTubers. These include like Axior, Fur, Bloxy, or Bloxy, and other YouTubers as well with roughly a hundred thousand or more. They are all under like 38 to 50 I think are all of the YouTuber titles you can get. And also the Hakak 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 The title you get for getting all of the Haki colors. I don't know what it is called. But speaking about Haki colors, the final thing you can do is unlock all of them. If you unlock all of the Haki colors, you can get the, the title that I don't know how to say, and you've got tons to choose from. At the moment, I've got almost all 14. I've got Rainbow, I've got the three legendary Hakis, which is Snow White, Pure Red, and Winter Sky. I've got all the regular ones aside from number eight. You've got tons of colors to choose from if you do unlock them, 
and the title is a cool bonus as well. If you've enjoyed or found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching and see you all next time.